Welcome back to Cooking with Gas and welcome to New Regent Street, a street of character and characters. We're here at the Caffeine Laboratory, let's go and check it out. The Caffeine Laboratory is a business focused on providing customers with exceptional food, exceptional coffee and exceptional service. Caffeine Laboratory just doesn't do coffee. It's doing great breakfasts, lunches and even dinners. But today we're going to look at chocolate mousse. Let's see how it's done. Ok here we are in the Caffeine Laboratory kitchen. It's small and tight but just right. This is Josh Young, the head chef. Young by name, young by nature, young by complexion. Cool, Brucey. So we're going to start the chocolate mousse. Grab the dark chocolate. This is the first procedure. We're going to get it on the heat, get it melting, nice and gentle. Don't want to burn this. She's expensive. A little bit of water. The water cannot touch the bottom of the bowl. That's what's going to burn your chocolate. So we're just going to sit that on and let that do its thing. Let's leave Josh there tempering his chocolate for a moment. You know, New Regent Street hasn't always been this bastion of culture. It started life out as, a, believe it or not, a field for the travelling circuses. And then it was roller skating, movie theatres, even a boot factory. The whole street in Christchurch survived the earthquakes. This wonderful eclectic group of buildings, the Spanish architecture, we're so lucky. That's very colourful, sort of suits my personality. And you've got all these lovely little coffee shops and different um, shops that are available. I think it's a fantastic asset for Christchurch. And then we've got the tram right behind us that links it to the rest of the city. And so you can take the tram down to the terraces, obviously? Yes, yes, I have my annual pass that'll get me all the way to the terrace. And it's, it's wonderful, actually, the annual pass locals, it only is $59 for unlimited use on the tram for a whole year and the gondola as often as you like. It's a bargain. That is a bargain. <laughs> and I don't have shares in the place. <laughs> So the tram comes past multiple times a day, starts early morning, finishes late evening and it brings great, great business to us and it also provides the street with a lovely atmosphere, people coming and going, tourists, locals alike, it's a good thing to have on the street I reckon. Chocolate's nice and melted, now if you take a good, good close look, she's not stuck to the bottom, she's not burning. It's just smooth, glossy chocolate. That's what you're after. Okay, Brucey, Sabion. So this is the, the base for the mousse. So we're using the, the good dairy, the good chocolate, everything. We don't want to ruin it by using a whole lot of sugar in it. So it's just enough, just enough to get that egg cooked, just enough to get the mousse going. So what we're going to do, we're going to fire that in and get it whipping. So you're using caster sugar, Josh? That's just caster sugar, the nice fine stuff. Otherwise it doesn't dissolve in. Now, so what you want to do is you just want to cream it. Now, traditionally speaking, a Sabion would be done over a water bath, just like the chocolate. But what I actually just tend to do is just cream it, just let it cream. Just really mix the sugar in, you want it to be completely dissolved. Especially on a small batch like this, the heat's not so important. And because it's mousse high in chocolate, she's going to set anyway. So last step, whipped cream. I've already got mine done, well nearly there anyway. So Josh, what, what are the proportions? So I've got 180 grams dark chocolate. 250 grams cream. Always do it in grams, it's much more accurate, less room for error. What we're going to do is just get that finishing going. So what you're looking for is a nice smooth whipped cream. You don't want it to go into butter. We've got all three steps ready to go. The whipped cream, the sabillon and the chocolate. However, as I said, here at the cath lab we have to do one more thing. We have to include the coffee. So we've got a nice fresh espresso here. Doesn't matter, you can actually just go down to your local coffee shop and get one, but you want an espresso. What do you think of your coffee? It's strong, it's rich, it's really lovely coffee. I gather that they've got a very secret blend in this stuff. So that's going in. And we're just gonna whip that a little bit more. So you just want one nice smooth coffee substance. Cool, Bruce. So what we've got, we've got the three bowls, we're going to temper them in. Now the tempering process is a very, very important thing to follow. Now, the reason being, if you don't follow it, you're not going to have a smooth mousse. The chocolate won't bind, it's going to set, you're going to have trouble. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with the chocolate, and now you need a little bit of the chocolate into your sabion. 
So that there is just to allow it to start to combine, and that's what I mean by about tempering. So that's this process. So it's a little bit of it in, about a third, and you're just going to stir. Just to combine. Cool. Now, as I say, so this all goes back into your chocolate. Again, gently folding. You don't want to overwork that chocolate, you don't want to damage your ear. Now for the cream. Same process, guys. A little bit of cream into your chocolate mix, then the rest on top of the rest of your cream. So again, you can see that's just mixing in. Don't worry so much about being too gentle at this stage. This is just to allow the chocolate to soften up, so when you mix it through your cream, that's when you can keep most of your ear. Now again, into the rest of your cream. This is where you want to be a bit more gentle. You want to keep most of the air in your cream, otherwise it's just going to be a very, very set, dense mousse. We want it dense and rich, but we still want a light, fluffy texture going through it. Cool. Nice and smooth, mate. That's it. That's the perfect mousse, mate. Oh, that's great, Josh. As they say, the proof is in the pudding. It's been really good down here at the Caffeine Laboratory. I think you do a fantastic job. The thought that you're doing a breakfast, a lunch, and a dinner, dinner service, out of here, top class food, top class people, it's to be encouraged. Delicious. Eat well.